Uh, you're seeing here uh, the Briscoe brothers standing tall as they, of course, hope to move along uh, in this uh, tournament for the uh, regional. The regional winners, of course, pick up $25,000 in cash. And, of course, uh, it is uh, their hope to go on then to the world tournament itself. Now, I might just point out that uh, you can go and enter as many regionals as you wish. So, consequently, uh, uh, these men, uh, if they should be defeated uh, uh, here at the Bayfront Center, uh, this does not necessarily mean that they are totally out of the tournament. This means that uh, they can go on if they can win in some other regional tournament. And so now the Briscoe brothers handling the Funk brothers... Uh, Keep your eye on the referee during this situation. Watch this referee because uh, he has taken a lot of punishment. So just keep your eye on him. Now you can see, of course, uh, something that the Funk Brothers uh, are really famous for or infamous for, and that is for uh, watching each other's back. Again, the referee caught in the, uh, the tide of this battle for the regional tag team championship. And, of course, Jack and Jerry Briscoe moving very effectively now have Dory Funk Jr. in trouble. And Dory Funk Jr., an excellent ring general, a sharp, cagey individual, slips from the ring. And uh, now the Funk Brothers, of course, waiting. And once again, the referee uh, regaining his feet. And uh, in a moment or two, we'll begin to toll the count here as Jack and Jerry Briscoe watch warily uh, for the Funk Brothers. Jerry Funk out on one side, uh, Dory Funk Jr. out on the other. And, of course, uh, you never know from what direction they may come. So uh, you have to be watching them, and we'll be back with more of this match in just a moment. A massive forearm across the jaw that stuns Briscoe, puts him to the canvas. And now watch as Briscoe is hurtled outside the ring. Now watch Terry Funk very carefully. Terry Funk, of course, uh, uh, trying to get a shot in there, and Jack Briscoe very quickly moving around, and it is Funk jammed into that uh, steel ring post outside the ring. And uh, you can see now the Briscoe brothers uh, standing 1-2 against the Funk brothers. Dory Funk, uh, of course, uh, inside the ring at this particular point in time, uh, watching things very carefully. Let me just point out to you one thing about Dory Funk Jr. He is Mr. Cool in the ring, no question here. He is the man uh, who is the ring general of all ring generals. And uh, as you see now, he moves against uh, uh, Briscoe, catches him. Again, that vicious forearm to the side of the jaw. And it is uh, Briscoe in trouble as uh, Dory Funk Jr. rocks him again and again. And uh, Dory Funk Jr. now being warned by the referee and again closes in on the Briscoe. So, uh, and now Briscoe fires back. And uh, a left hand, a left forearm now by Briscoe, another left forearm that has the former world heavyweight champion. And when you stop to think about it, you have four former world champions uh, in this match. Dory and Terry Funk, former world heavyweight champions. Jack Briscoe, former world heavyweight champion. Jerry Briscoe, former world junior heavyweight champion. So you've got uh, tremendous uh, championship quality here uh, in this match. And uh, it is now Briscoe moving uh, very effectively. Goes for the uh, standing guillotine. Has the standing guillotine. The referee checking now. Now watch Terry Funk coming over. And uh, as he starts to nail Briscoe, it's the referee stopping him uh, mid-flight, if you will. And again, going back to check with Dory Funk Jr. to see if Dory Funk Jr. wants to concede. And again, Terry Funk attempts to interfere. And again, uh, to no avail. And it is... Uh a situation here now as uh, Jack Briscoe, caught from uh, behind there by uh, Dory Funk Jr. as Funk continues to withstand tremendous pain, tremendous pressure here. And uh, Jack Briscoe arches back once again, and uh, one has to give Dory Funk Jr. a tremendous amount of credit here for withstanding uh, this kind of agony, refusing to concede. But this is the one thing about the Funk brothers. They have proven over the years that they are indeed double tough. And you can see the way that uh, right arm is bent way out of position here. Terry Funk trying to get over to make the tag, and uh, as he does, almost upended into the ring. And now back into a lateral guillotine, the referee checking uh, those shoulders, a quick count. And Dory Funk Jr. able to power out now to an inside cradle. And again, the referee checking, and again, Dory Funk Jr. powers out. And it is uh, Risco closing in, hoping to get that pinfall, hoping to move on uh, in this uh, regional tournament. Watch very carefully now, as I said, of course, uh, uh, the referee having his hands really full in his uh, high-tension uh, 
Australian tag team match, of course, for the regional championships. $25,000 going to the winning team of these regional finals. And uh, now Funk being blocked very nicely as he attempted a uh, vertical uh, suplex. Once again, a good block by Bristol. And a beautiful move by Bristol as he countered very well. Uh, Jerry Bristol now back in with a side headlock. And uh, no, Terry Funk makes the tag. It is Terry Funk moving in. Now watch very, very carefully as uh, Funk using that powerful elbow, elbow down across the uh, back of the skull. And uh, Funk, of course, administering more and more punishment. He is perhaps the more volatile of the uh, two Funks. He is uh, an extremely dangerous competitor, great explosive force, uh, high-intensity competitor. The referee warning him now to keep back into a neutral area or else he'll break the count, which is exactly what had happened there. Uh, the count is on once again, and uh, Briscoe gamely trying to get back into the ring. And the count continues now as Briscoe continues to clamber up toward those ring ropes and uh, moving back inside the ring. Again, the referee having to warn Terry Funk, and now Terry Funk lashes out a hard right hand, then a forearm to the side of the jaw, and then a left hand. And uh, now Briscoe fires to the midsection, fires to the midsection again, and one to the side of the jaw. And another one that has Terry Funk staggered. And now Briscoe exploding with everything he's got. Terry Funk back to the basics, a single leg pickup. And now uh, Funk goes back to a spinning toe hold. And this, of course, is the very hold that brought the Terry Funk swing with the uh, of Gary Briscoe down into the figure four. And so it is the figure four on Terry Funk. And things look well indeed now for the Briscoes as Dory Funk Jr. tried to come over and interfere. Uh, he is cut off at the pass by Jack Briscoe. But uh, meantime, uh, Terry Funk able to get away from that hold. Enough diversion there. He was able to get away, and now it is uh, Dory Funk Jr., the snap mare on Jerry Briscoe. Jerry Briscoe rolls to one side. It is Dory Funk Jr. missing with a haymaker right. Briscoe does not. He connects. He connects again. A long side of the year, and now Briscoe. Starts that avalanche to try and uh, loosen up and uh, tire out uh, those Camorras muscles. And now, a slugfest erupting between these two as they continue to battle it out. And now watch Terry Funk coming from the outside. Here comes Jack Briscoe, and you've got a pier sixer going now with all four men in the ring at the same time. And it is a, a tremendous battle going on between these four. Again, let me repeat, $25,000 to the winning team of this regional tournament going on uh, here tonight at the Bayfront Center in St. Petersburg. He's got him down, and look, there you saw the foot. There you saw the foot, and Jack Bristol out there protesting uh, the foot, but to no avail whatsoever. The, the referee did not see it, and of course, he cannot change those decisions. And so, consequently, uh, Jack and Jerry Bristol again, uh, losing out in their quest in this regional championship. 